library friends! My name is Raquel and I'm going to let you in on a little secret. One thing librarians and library staff love to do, when they're not reading of course, is to explore different places to eat. In this video, I'm going to visit three local restaurants here in Stockton and share our thoughts on the food. We're filming during Stockton Restaurant Week and although the event will be over by the time that you watch, we encourage you to still support local restaurants like these. Hope you enjoy! I'm Amy, I'm from the Cesar Chavez Library and I'm here today to try American Waffle House. Every year during Stockton Restaurant Week, I try to make it a point to try a new restaurant that I've never been to before. So I'm gonna do brunch. Uh, I was looking at their offerings for Stockton Restaurant Week and most of it was family packs, which is not gonna work for me. So I'm just gonna order off the regular menu and I'm gonna get some chicken and waffles. Okay, so I've got all of my food out of my boxes now. I've plated them. So when you get fried chicken and waffles from the American Waffle House, you get your waffle and four pieces of chicken. You get a breast, a wing, a thigh, and a leg. They gave me all my little condiments here so that I can get my waffle going. I know there are a lot of people out there who are probably have never had chicken and waffles before and don't understand the appeal, but it's that whole sweet savory thing. I'm gonna try the chicken first. I'm gonna pick it up with my hands even though Usually I'm not real big on bone-in chicken and so I tend to scrape the meat off. So, uh, all right, here we go. Okay, yeah, it's good. It's hot, I'm still hot, even though I had to take it home. And the chicken isn't dry. And the breading is good, it's not overly greasy. I got a little bit of uh, syrup on my fingers, but that's the fun of chicken and waffles. Okay, I'm gonna try the waffle now. It's not crisp, but that's because it was to go and waffles don't really do to go great. But um, I'm sure if I was sitting there at the restaurant, it would be all crisp and warm and fluffy and, and good. So go back for the chicken and waffles. So to sum up my experience at American Waffle House, I went there during Stockton Restaurant Week. I was able to place my order online, which is always a bonus for me. Pickup was easy. The staff there was really friendly. When I got home, everything was there as I had ordered. I ordered the fried chicken and waffles, which comes with four pieces of fried chicken, a breast, wing, thigh, and leg. The breast was moist. It was flavorful. It was crispy and not very greasy. So thumbs up for the fried chicken. The waffle was a little bit soft, but that's just because of the to-go box. If you've got a waffle inside of one of those styrofoam to-go boxes, the steam is gonna circulate and it's gonna soften it up a bit. So I'm sure once their dining room is back open again, um, I will go back and I would try to sit in their cute little dining area and have a nice fresh hot waffle. Hi, my name is Christina. I'm right outside of the Cast Iron Trading Company here during uh, Stockton Restaurant Week. And I'm about to go in and get some food, so uh, let's hope we get some good stuff. Hi, I'm back from Cast Iron Trading Company, and uh, this is the food that I got from uh, the special of uh, Stockton Restaurant Week. Um, I kind of like going to Cast Iron Training Company. I've been there before, um, but I thought I would try this time the vegan menu that they're doing as a special for Stockton Restaurant Week. Um, oftentimes they do a lot of different specials um, here and there where they get, have guest chefs and stuff. So I thought this would be a cool opportunity to try some vegan food out. There's not a whole lot of options here in Stockton if you want to eat vegan. So um, I thought I would give it a shot. So what I have here is the vegan mac and cheese. 
Um, I also have some tater tots from their regular menu. And then from the special menu again is the apple, apple crumb cake, which looks really good. So um, let's dig in and see what these are like. So let's try the vegan mac and cheese. Although I have to say by the time I'm eating this, it's a little cold just because I had to set everything all up, but let's try it. Okay. It's definitely not real cheese because cheese is not vegan, um, but it still has a little bit of that flavor. I think you definitely taste the noodles a lot more with this. Um, just because normally cheese is, and especially like cheddar and gruyere and the stuff they usually put in mac and cheese is a little more strong than whatever they've made this from. But it's not bad. I kind of almost get like, um, like a, maybe a little bit of like a green onion -y flavor probably from the little, um, garnishes that they have here which add to it. And the breadcrumbs really help you to feel like you're eating actually mac and cheese, like with real cheese instead of just a substitute, so not bad. And then let me go ahead and try a tater tot. Well, I probably know what these taste like. Very good. This has that really good like buttery flavor and potato -y flavor that feels really like fresh. Definitely would be good with some ketchup. I forgot to bring that up, so I'll have to have some of that later. They're nice and crispy on the outside with some nice softness on the inside, so that's always good. And then let me try a bite of the cake. So I'm super excited for this one. And let's see this one. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of like caramelization and some sort of like sauce on the top, with the apple, and then you get some of the, the uh, cake part down at the bottom. Mm, that's really good. This is so cinnamony, um, but it's so awesome. Um, you definitely get apple, cinnamon, very sweet. Um, I'll be eating a lot of that later. <laughs> um, so yeah, this was like a cute little meal. It was nice to get out and um, visit downtown. I haven't been to downtown in a while. So I will go ahead and finish eating this and I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some food from a new restaurant. So I'm going to briefly name which each of these things are and then I'll get on to trying it. So this one right here is the, let's see, I think it's the beef mole enchiladas. Um, the green one is the chicken verde enchiladas. So we got our green enchilada, we got our red enchilada, we have the pelisco tacos. So this one has, I was told it has smoked chicken. And cotija cheese, which I love cotija cheese. I see some, I think, on the black beans also, which is a staple. We got cilantro rice. Um, I love cilantro. Some people love it, some people hate it. I love anything with cilantro. And of course, for me, any takeout Mexican meal is not complete without chips and salsa. So I believe this is the um, green salsa. This one was labeled the dip for the perlisco, so I'm assuming this is the dip for this taco. And this one was in the same container as the, the taco as well, so I'm interested to try it out and see what it is. I'm gonna go with the perlisco taco. Mm, very crunchy. Let me dip it in here. I'm the only one eating this, so I can double dip. It's totally fine. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I love that sauce. The sauce really is what makes it. But yeah, it's smoky. 
a little bit of heat, but not very spicy because I can't do a lot of spice. But with the sauce, it's really good. I'm gonna try it with this sauce. It's like a, it's a little, it's a lot creamier. Um, I'm just gonna try it. I don't know what it is, but we're just gonna go in. Let's see. Is that like a mayo base? I'm gonna go in chips with the green salsa. Mmm, that's good. It's really fresh tasting. It's not too spicy. It kind of gets you a little bit in the back, but it also has some like char in it. It's really good. And it looks like they in in house fry the chips, which I like. They're really, really crispy. I hate it when like tortilla chips are like soggy. I don't want them chips. I want crispy chips and these are definitely well fried. Um, let me see, okay. We got the taco, we got the chips, we got the salsa, and we got the dips. Let me see, let me try the black beans. Yeah. Solid black beans, the rice. I like that it's not too, it's not like mushy. It's not overcooked. It has good flavor. Hmm. Let's see, and let's get into the enchiladas. So this is the the chicken, chicken verde. Obviously it's green. So let me try it. Hmm. I don't see that. Sometimes with enchiladas, like they can get a little dry if they don't have enough sauce, but that definitely has enough sauce in there. Let me try the the beef mole. And I'm not an expert, honestly, I just like what I like. So I can't claim whether this is traditional or not traditional. All I know is if I like it, and so far everything is tasting really good. Mm, this one's a little bit sweeter, but the beef, the beef is like shredded and it's really, really tender. Yeah. So I like you have like a little bit of different textures. I got the family meal during restaurant week, but um, yeah, I'm sure they carry these all throughout the year. This is this is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna chow down on this. I don't know if I can finish it because this is a lot of food, but overall, everything tasted really good. The chips were amazing. I love that they're in house fried. They're nice and they're crispy. I like all of these sauces. I think my favorite probably out of the sauces is the, the salsa. And this is the best for the chips because it has a little bit of heat. It's not too spicy. Um, yeah. And both of these are well sauced. The beef is tender. The chicken is flavorful. Um, so if you get a chance, go to La Mesa in Lincoln Center and try it out for yourself. I'm gonna keep on eating. Thanks for watching.